I'm in St. Louis, Missouri on a foggy, rainy day in the winter of 2024 to talk about an important part of black history that took place here nearly 180 years ago. On April 6, 1846, Dred Scott, a 50-year-old enslaved black man and his wife Harriet, filed a lawsuit against their enslaver for their freedom here at the old courthouse behind me in St. Louis. From 1833 to 1843, Dred Scott had been taken by his enslaver to live in the free state of Illinois and a free part of the Louisiana Territory, and then brought back here to the slave state of Missouri. Since he had left the slave state to a free state, Dred Scott argued that he had the legal standing to challenge his continued enslavement. He filed a lawsuit here and lost his case, but he didn't give up. He appealed the decision all the way to the U.S. Supreme Court which decided against him in an infamous 1857 case called Dred Scott v. Sanford. In the 7-2 decision, the court ruled that the Missouri Compromise of 1820 that outlawed slavery north of the 36-30 parallel was unconstitutional, that Congress did not have the authority to free slaves, and that black people in America were not entitled to citizenship. The shocking decision helped to dramatize the young nation's political divisions, which led to the dissolution of the existing United States and the Civil War just four years later. So don't let any cynical politician in the 21st century tell you that America has never been a racist country. A year after the notorious Supreme Court decision, Dred Scott died on September 17, 1858 here in St. Louis. He was a freedom fighter trapped by the policies of a racist country. May he rest in power.